Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to the bench. And uh, an unexpected video today. I didn't plan on doing this, but I research daily the internet for new products, products that are on sale, and stuff that has just passed me by. And um, in my research, I found some great prices for products that I use all the time. And um, really good prices. So I, I figured I'd put this video up quick and uh, let you know of these products. It's these three airbrushes plus the spray booth I previewed not too long ago. Um, it's also currently on sale for 99 bucks. It's 119 with a $20 coupon. I'll show you that. That's in the other room. Um, I'll show you that at the end of the video. But the products that are on sale are the Gallery Advanced Series. This is their uh, entry-level airbrush. Comes with a 0.35 millimeter and a 0.5 millimeter needle. It's dual action. It has dual cups, two different cup sizes, I should say. Here is your part list right there. Your manual, your sample spray, the beautiful manual goes into detail. It's uh, all single language, it's all in English uh, as they distribute them according to the region they're in, which is very smart. Comes with extra washes and fittings. Both needles, extra nozzle right here, a quick release adapter here, two cup sizes, and some lubricant. An absolute beautiful airbrush, um, really sprays everything really well, it's built well. Uh, I've gotten a lot of great feedback on this. Uh, I will put a link below to the video for where I tested this airbrush, and just, it is a beauty. And this is their entry level airbrush, so uh, this will tell you how much care the company um, is putting into their product. So it's a new company, and they want to uh, they want to show the world that uh, they mean business. They're putting out a quality product. They stand behind the product. If somebody has a question, even in my feeds below or my videos, they respond. Um, they're working on, I think, a website for parts replacement. They're a really wonderful company. This packaging is absolutely sturdy. The packaging is great, and um, the price on this airbrush is currently. $36. It's regularly $46. That's their entry level. That's what it was when I got it. Um, I'll put a C on this because it's a coupon. you got to check a little coupon that's next to it. I'll have the link below, but when, when I get when you click the link and go to uh, the site, I think it's Amazon, um, you're going to see a coupon and you're going to check that off and then you'll get it for the $36. Even that, it's still in the $30s, I think, even without the coupon if you forget. Uh, an incredible value at $36. Absolute must own just to have a spare, even airbrush around. And uh, I'll tell you what, this is a wonderful spare airbrush. Number two is another gallery. This is the gallery pistol grip. All right, this is also part of the advanced series, also slightly different sizes a 0.38 millimeter, the other one's a 0.35, a little bigger, and a 0.5 dual action. Everything else is the same. Um, it's got the beautiful new nozzles. Let me show you that. It's got their new nozzle design with the uh, extra... Uh, hold on, let me show you one second. The extra flow chambers in the nozzles. And again, extra fittings. Both needles. I think I have the uh, 0.5 millimeter installed in this now. Uh, very comfortable. Adjustable at the back. Uh, also... A quick release. Let me grab this so you guys can see it. Got to get my tweezers. These, this packaging, this foam, and this is so sturdy. There we go. Quick release. It just doesn't quite fit in the packaging with it, so it's packaged right there separately. Here is the extra nozzle and cap, and there's the two cup sizes, and again, the lubricant. A wonderful airbrush. I've been using this quite a bit lately, actually. And uh, check this out. $54, regularly $79. Don't forget to clip the coupon to get the full savings of 54. It's also in the 50s without the coupon. So uh, that's just a little extra on top of it all, an extra 5%. Uh, an incredible, again, an incredible airbrush. They have, let me show you the lid with all the parts there broken down and all the part numbers. Well, not the part numbers, just the, the description of each part. If you want to take it apart, you could just use this guide 
and it'll walk you through tearing it down. Also has the full instructions, not a generic one, one made just for the airbrush. And uh, again, in English, based on the zone you're in, you'll get the uh, proper um, instruction manual. A great airbrush, as I said, I've been using it quite a bit lately, as I'm getting a lot of uh, base coats laid down for future um, videos that are coming up. All right, I will have the link below for this also. I'll put a link to the video too, if you guys want to see the original video where I tested it. And the third airbrush that's on sale, one that I don't show too often on camera, and I've had it. I think I did a video on this about two or three years ago, so um, I think we're going to go ahead and maybe show this one now on camera. This is the one we will show because it's been a long time, and it's a little bit different and unique. This is a single action, meaning you're just going to push down and let the paint out. You're not going to, you can't really adjust the air, but you can adjust the needle, and I will show you that in a second. It's miniature. It's all aluminum. So it's very light, comes with a little hose if you're going to use the canned air, but uh, we don't we use the adapter. This one is on sale for, oh, hold on, my little post-it note is getting stuck, 48 bucks. Uh, I paid 75 a few years ago. So uh, this is quite the sale. Last I looked, there's about 10 left in stock. So if you guys want one of these, um, it's going to go out of stock, I think, pretty quick after I put this video up. But this is another great product from GSI Creos. And Mr. Hobby. I love the entire Procon lineup. Even this one as a single action. All we're going to need, I guess, will be the airbrush. We'll just take that out. It comes with the wrench to take the needle, I mean the nozzle out. I'll show you there. It comes in different colors. I'm not sure what color you're going to get. I think it's black or just aluminum, that aluminum color that is on Amazon. Um, I got the blue. I think it's because that's what they had in stock. The color didn't matter to me. But there it is. Now, um, first of all, let's put a quick release adapter on the back, on the bottom here. There we go. Now we can just plug it right into my compressor. And uh, that is it. It's got a really large cup size. Look at that. And uh, to adjust it, you're just going to roll this. That is off. And you're just going to back off little by little. Let me show you how to take the, knot the needle out. You're just going to unscrew this all the way. And there it is. It's attached to uh, the screw portion. It's a point four. Check this size out. Point four uh, millimeter needle, which is quite unique. It's in between the three and the five. Obviously, uh, quite a unique size. Meaning you could probably primer with this and put a nice base coat. And um, that's what we're gonna do. Let me see. I'm gonna put this straight back in. That's what we're gonna do. We're going to. Uh, I think I pulled this out for the video. We're gonna use. Why not use Mr. Color Paint? We use this metallic blue, beautiful color. And I got some random kits that I keep aside for testing. Even if I just spray the side to show you guys quick. I just want to show you the operation of it because it's such a unique airbrush. And it's one that I don't use that often uh, on camera anyway since I've tested it. And that's it. You can unscrew the nozzle up here up front. But uh, probably mostly for maintenance. And there's not much to clean this thing. <laughs> you pull the front out. You pull the needle out. You scrub it out a little bit. You're, you are clean. The cup actually comes off. See that? It even has a gasket on the cup. The cup's aluminum also, very light. And, uh, yeah, look at it. It looks like the day I got it. And I've used this quite a bit, too, particularly for primers and for base coats like uh, coats like this for a car. Look at that. It's still nice and clean after a few years. Not even a mark on the body either. So, yeah, that is all. So what you do is we're going to plug it into the air, and we're just going to adjust it back in a couple of turns. Just get a steady stream, almost like a, a spray can is what you want. And just get it done. The only secret to it is, is you want to when you push it in, you want the paint flowing. Then you want to pass across as you would a dual action, because uh, this will spit out some paint because it's just coming straight out. It's it's just it goes to, uh, no paint to full force versus a, a dual action like these two. You push in the air and you gradually pull it back, and um, so it's going to be like hitting your finger down on a spray can and the paint's just going to flow out. So you just start off and come across and uh, very good results, very good results, particularly in this price range. Um, You'll be impressed, you know. Uh, I personally don't think it's as good as the gallery, even the entry level one. You're in the same price range and now, keep in mind, this is usually 75 bucks, but still no thought involved, good to start with, just pushing your finger down. All you do is get the paint mixed properly and you are airbrushing.
So it is a good starter airbrush. That is absolutely for sure. But uh, let me uh, thin this out. We'll thin this 50-50 with some uh, Mr. Thinner here. And we'll just thin it out. We'll paint even just a portion of this car just to show you guys quick. And then uh, I'll show you the spray booth, which is also on sale. And then we'll wrap up this video. So let me get this thin. Let me get this hooked up to my compressor. Head over to the booth, which is this way. And um, I'll show you this little brush. All right, my friends. Here we are at the booth. I have my model manual holder for my desk that I use has the magnets that holds the manual this usually would be the manual to the kit I'm building but I got a blank piece of paper to show you how we adjust this little airbrush now we filled up the cup you can see it there I'm gonna push there we go now we want to adjust the nozzle I'll show you by going all the way in nothing comes out and then from there is where you can start uh, adjusting it I'm gonna pull out even further you're gonna get, look at that. See that? And that's what we're looking for. See the specking? You don't want the little dots coming out. So you're gonna start off the kit and come on, but that's a nice pattern right there for the kit we're gonna use. So let's come back out here. I got the model here. And um, let's go ahead and try and do this first. Try a spoon. Sure, this baby is stuck on here. I'm gonna start off and just come across. This is at 22 psi. Now, if you don't want to go heavy, you can just use your fingers, back it off a little bit, and you can go a little lighter and come in a little closer. And that's basically it. I mean, if you're airbrushing already, you're going to know how to use this airbrush. It's quite easy. It atomizes the paint really nice. It's like using a high-quality spray can. So, and there you go. All right, let me clean this out, get this out of the way. I just wanted to show you how to operate it. I'm going to clean this out, and then uh, I'll show you the spray booth that's currently on sale for under 100 bucks, and, um, and then we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, here is the booth that is currently on sale. It's in the other room. I'm actually building a little room with uh, my extra booths and uh, kind of building like a separate studio. If I have uh, friends over with group builds and whatnot, I'm working on something here. Just brainstorming. But anyway, that's why this booth is out here. It collapses. It folds up nice. It's a dual fan. Oh, let me put the lights on. Look at the lighting. And I used to, I cut this piece of cardboard out. It fits right in here. It keeps it clean. Right? It all folds up like a suitcase. Let me show you the dual fans if I can pop this out. Let me see if I can pop this out. Oh, yeah. Here Look at that. Dual fan. I'll turn them on. And it's powerful. This clips on. Bit. Hold on. <laughs> I'm talking over a fan. This is you can get these aquarium filters that I recommend. You just pop them in here, trim them. It fits in this nice and sturdy. It's got uh, a, these roller attachers here. You just snap it back in. There it is. Beautiful. I use a carbo, like I said, to protect. It is small. However, this is a 124th scale car, which I build quite a bit. In my day, and there you go. That's a 124th scale car, so it'll hold that. So it'll hold mostly, you know, if you're building Gumpla or a car, it'll fit fine. Uh, 172nd, most 148 kits probably will fit in there for aircraft. Uh, ships, you might have a little bit of a problem, but uh, anyway, at 99 bucks, it's 119 with a $20 coupon. It's great. It's got lights. Um, I think it's black. It's different from this, yet it's the same. A lot of these are the same. It's got the dual fans, which is very important to me. So it's got the dual fan. It's got the lighting, which is right up here. It's separate from the fan in the back. There it is running again. It's got rubber feet on the bottom. It's a it's a great booth. And um, at 99 bucks, you are in. Get one of those. I think you can get one of those airbrushes. I just showed you this booth and probably an air compressor, which I recently tested. All around 200 bucks, and you are in. You're painting. You've got your full setup. Um, 
unimaginable not too long ago to get a booth, a compressor, and an airbrush, all quality, all around 200 bucks for everything. Very rare for that to happen. And um, so let's go ahead and uh, head back to the bench, and we shall wrap this up. I have been working back here. I'm trying to get organized. I got a lot of new kits. Uh, and in here, <laughs> you can see what's going on. Uh, I got new shelves um, back there. I just put that one up. And I think I'm going to group everything. Real grades or P-Bandai's. All my uh, metal builds and figures are up here. All my new stuff. This just came in, I think, today. This Macross. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, I opened it up for a second. It is painted just awesome. And um, here's my Leonardo that just came in. My Leonardo uh, Ninja Turtle Mecha. I showed him briefly. Anyway, I'm going on a tangent here. But anyway, this is uh, this is one of the rooms where all the stuff ends up piling up. And stuff i got to test is over here. So um, that's what's going on. I've shown this a few times. His stuff around here. All my spoons are over here. I'm working on uh, practice kits here. Um, so anyway, let me pause this. <laughs> More paint to test here. And uh, I'll see you back at the bench. Yeah, we're back at the bench. Anyway, there you go, guys. Just a quick video. Um, don't have to full test these. As I've done tests, I know these are great. Uh, it's been a long time since I showed this on camera. It's kind of different. So that's why I went ahead and showed that one quick. I can't even reach the car. Where did I put the car? Oh, here's the spoon. So uh, it, it, it sprays nice. So um, that's the three. 36, 48, 54. I will put links to all of them. Don't forget, if there's a coupon... These, these, and the booth all have coupons. You must click on those to get the full price I'm showing, even though it's pretty close to these prices. The booth is the 20 bucks off. It's regularly $119. So um, that's just a reminder. Heads up. If you if you click through, make sure you, you look for a coupon. It'll be right next to the price, right underneath it. But uh, that's all, guys. I like to save you guys money when I can. And uh, this just came out of nowhere. I was looking for all this stuff, and it just popped up in my feed. And I says, wow, I, I, I want to tell you guys, I would have put it in the community photo section, but a lot of time I don't, I don't get a ton of views on that. So I figured I want to reach the most people I can. These are probably going to sell out. I, don't, I think there was only 10 left just as I started this video about an hour ago. So uh, um, people are noticing that I didn't see that marker before. I just said it, it was there. Now it says 10 or, or less than 10 or something. So they are selling. Anyway, guys, there you go. That's the quick video. We have more to come. I'll have another video this week. Um, but yeah, that's your heads up. Go and take advantage. Um, I got a special announcement coming in a couple weeks. Uh, another product of mine coming out. And I'm very excited for this one. But anyway, guys, there you go. That's the video for today. Uh, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in the next video, which will be, uh, I guess, in a couple days. We're working on it right now. And uh, thank you, guys. You guys have been the best. Please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. More videos like this to come. Uh, not so similar, but, uh, you know, paint tests airbrush test and uh things like that there we uh will always keep you informed and uh so please subscribe we're trying to get those subscription numbers up a little bit more and uh the thumbs up helps also anyway guys you guys have been terrific god bless you all have a great day